fill up selections and areas of the canvas much faster using the paint bucket. The default hotkey for this is G. The standard mode for the bucket tool is to fill according to the color contents of the same layer, meaning that it will fill up until it hits another area of a different color. Increasing the tolerance will fill more over similar tones of the same color that you clicked on. You can instead fill according to opacity. Rather than filling according to the color contents, it will fill according to the opacity of those colors. Again, increasing the tolerance will cause it to fill over more similar values of opacity. You may notice sometimes when filling in a shape that the fill doesn't go all the way to the edge. You can then instead make use of our smart mode. Now when you fill, it spreads over into the line work. This is perhaps not ideal for working on the same layer, but if you keep your line layer and color layer separate, you'll get a much neater fill shape. So to demonstrate on a separate empty layer, I'm going to set the target layer to above and now the fill will be informed by the contents of the layer above it. In this case, the line work. If my mode is only set to color, I will get the same effect of still having some white pixels between the color shape and the outline. But when switching to smart mode, we get a much neater fill because the color has spread out slightly beneath the line work. We have some other fill modes over here. We've been using the standard fill. With full rest, instead of the bucket coloring this shape, if we were to click on it, it will fill all areas outside of it. With clear, instead of filling an area with color, it will remove color instead. Clear rest behaves the same way as full rest, in that areas outside of the shape when I click on it will be erased.